Let's start with Forsberg's Four. And you know, Amina, so I'm still buzzing from the KG ceremony this weekend. Normally, I bring you a whole bunch of nerdy stats in this segment, but this time I'm just kind of going off script. I'm going to do all my favorite moments from the KG extravaganza. And we start with the obvious one, KG and Ray reunited, and it feels so good. Here's this thing, this cloud that has lingered over the Celtics for really years now. And KG, very early in his chat with Scal, goes off the script, calls out Ray, he comes up, and what I love best, Paul Pierce is like, wait a minute, I'm getting in He's on like, this. He's like, I gotta get into this too. He was and waiting for that All moment. the nostalgia <laughs> for all of us that were around that 2007-08 team comes rushing back. All the good vibes that we felt when they first came together, all the good vibes from when they went on that championship run and just dominated. And it's refreshing to see because you couldn't bring up the 2018 team without being like, well, they don't quite get along. And now we're back in a point where they're talking again, maybe they get Rondo involved down the road. And everyone can be one happy family yet again. Reunited and it feels it so, does good. Feel so good. I wasn't gonna sing it, but there. yeah, I was gonna sing it, but I don't think anybody wants to hear me <laughs> sing. All right, what's up next? Next up is unprepared Paul Pierce. <laughs> Do, you, do we think anyone actually told him he was speaking at this event? Probably because not. his reaction when Mike Gorman called him to the podium sure left it look like he did not know that he was supposed to do this. Look, oh, what? Who's, what? Me? Oh, me? me? Wait. Oh, me? You me. want me to speak? Me. All right. <laughs> so he goes up there, no notes. <laughs> now, maybe he just was, maybe the moment was like, whoa, like he froze a little bit. But no notes, no nothing. He started out a little bit like Billy Madison when he's going to ask, answer the question about the Industrial Revolution. <laughs> and then like Billy Madison, he kind of found his way. And he was like, you know, and then the puppy good. who was industry. And, and, he, and he had some good remarks and all that. I still award him no points. And may God have mercy on his soul. But <laughs> credit to Paul Pierce for cobbling his way through there. Kind of like you're at a best man speech and yeah. you didn't have anything prepared. You thought you could just wing it. At least Paul found a way to get to the finish line and hammer home just how good KG was in Boston. I don't think Paul Pierce needed to prep to prepare anything <laughs> for that, to be honest. I, that was the perfect way for Paul Pierce to go up there and honor KG at his number he retirement was, ceremony. He was too busy re recording everything with yes, his seven video exactly. cameras. exactly. I've seen him all weekend long just holding <laughs> up his phone, recording everything on Instagram Live. It's just classic Paul Pierce. All right, what do you have next? All right, third up. One of the things I loved most about the ceremony was the way KG got to raise that number up there. Not only did he have his two daughters there, and as a dad, I got a little dusty in the studio for a minute, but the thing I like best is in the air tonight used to play right before the Celtics took the court to, uh, to warm up, and it like took KG, and it, it, he was already kind of locked in, but he went to another level. When those drums kicked in, man, KG was ready to run through a wall. So it was the perfect background to, as he's lifting up that number five. And as you can see, like I didn't catch it when we were watching the monitor the first time, but you can see maybe one single oh, tear. Oh yeah, one single tear came down. down the cheek, and I thought it was just perfect the way they brought that all together. Again, a little callback to that 2008 title team. What? KG's intensity meant, and it was just a really cool moment having his daughters there. Mm -hmm. uh, you're allowed to cry. You're allowed to ball if you oh, want yeah. it. I mean, that's that has got to be an overwhelm. We saw him. He he was like a bundle of energy, just like ooh, ooh, like just getting trying to get himself psyched up here mm -hmm. for this thing and keep it in check. And it's all right. He can cry. The, cool. the moment KG started to uh, bring that number up into the rafters, you could see he was filled mm -hmm. with emotion, and I knew the tear was coming at some point. All right. Last but not least, what do you got? Last but not least is what I love was all right. So Rob Williams and the 2021-22 Celtics were all in the back row, like the cool kids hanging out on the bus watching the big ceremony. But there were multiple instances, and some people put some photos up online, where Rob actually stands up to look. And right after the ceremony, he took to Twitter and said, motivation. Here's all I want. When you're part of these ceremonies and you watch a little bit of history, I hope from the Jays to Rob to everybody on this team, they understand the intensity you have to play with in order to be successful. I hope they understand the sacrifice you have to make to be able to be a championship level team. And I hope they watch this and they realize like, look, Jason Tatum has been super good. Jalen Brown has been otherworldly, but what sets you apart is winning titles in Boston. Mm -hmm. And can the Celtics get to a point where the Jays lead that and then one day, I think I feel pretty good that Jason Tatum is probably going to be the next number up there. Maybe Danny Ainge. Maybe we can find Mike Gorman a spot up there. But I'm saying, like, there's a difference between being really good and being an all-star and all-NBA, all those sort of things, and getting your number up there. And I hope 
that from Rob to the Jays, they all took a little bit away from that. I'm with Rob because when I was watching them play some of the highlights of KG and his days here in Boston, I was like, dang, I feel like running through a I'm wall. Like, there's no way you can't watch KG highlights and not feel like you could do <laughs> anything after that. All right, let's get into some honorable mentions because there was so many moments that night. Any honorable mentions? So I'm doing honorable mention. This is from the whole weekend, which started Friday night with the homecoming and everything. First off, Kelly Olenek's out there with the Pistons. Oh, yeah. And he jumps in on the 75th anniversary. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Was Kelly invited? Like, or did he just crash in this thing? I thought that was wild. I thought Big Baby oh, running around yeah. the entire weekend. No one had more fun than Big Baby this entire time. I don't know if you saw this. At one point on the Jumbotron, mm -hmm. another KG gave a tribute to KG. Okay. Kenny G with his saxophone. I did not see that. <laughs> Played him a little ditty. Oh, my K goodness. KG How did I miss said in the that? <laughs> KG has said in the past he loves Kenny G. Wow. Like, they're spawn. They're brothers from another mother, and they just love each other yeah. for whatever reason, and so he, he was okay with uh, with a little of that. And then the other celebrity of the weekend, Deuce! Yes, Deuce got a picture taken with KG after KG was I into think, it! I think KG was just trying to get a picture with Deuce, because that's exactly what it looked like out there on the court. It's <laughs> unbelievable. They, like, they took a photo at first, and then they were like, no, 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 Deuce, take your mask off so we can get a good one, and Deuce is just like, boom, right. all right, I'll take another one. <laughs> Leans in on KG. It was awesome. It's like anytime someone comes in to TD Garden, they've got to get a picture with Deuce. Come that, on. That's the biggest thing. I'm telling you, he's the biggest celebrity in Boston. Maybe he's going to be next up on that banner. He's definitely a big celebrity <laughs> here in Boston.